Ohio Republican Congressman Mike Turner joins us. He is a member of the House Intelligence Committee. So, Congressman, there was a fair amount of drama as to whether this thing would get through the Senate at all. Now that it has, is it essentially law? I mean, Democrats have uh, the majority in the House. They have a Democrat in the White House. Is there anything Republicans who don't like this bill much can do to stop it? Well, I think Nancy Pelosi is going to work very hard to make certain that this tax and spend bill, the $700 billion spending bill, uh, gets passed in, in the House. But Lindsey Graham is absolutely right. This is classic President Biden looking at the problems facing our nation of inflation, national security, and open border, and having only in his toolbox two thoughts, and that's tax and spend. The problem is you can't spend your way out of inflation, and you certainly can't tax your way out of a recession. Uh, this bill is a disaster for our economy. And the fact that they're focusing on climate, uh, at a time when we should be focusing on energy independence, this will do nothing to help lower gas prices, and it certainly won't help uh, to make America independent in, ga in uh, energy production. But the White House is insisting there is no tax increase on Americans making less than $400,000 a year. Your response? Well, the one thing we know about taxes is whenever you tax into an economic system, you're taking money away from uh, the production of, of, of economic power. And that doesn't matter who you tax, you're still taking it out of the system. When you have a, a recession and you take money and give it to the federal government as opposed to put it out on the economy to produce jobs, uh, you're going to fan the recessionary uh, flames that, are, that we're seeing across our country.